Hi guys, it's Rachel with MCR. Today I'm playing the name game at home with my dogs. Um, I am practicing self-distancing and staying home. So I've been working from home and um, yeah, we're gonna play the name game. What's the name game you may ask? It is a great way to teach your dog their name. So if you just got a puppy, if you just rescued a dog and you weren't so fond of the name that they were given by the rescue, this is a great way to teach them to learn their name. Um, my dogs all know their names pretty well. So when I'm doing this, it's gonna be mostly me, um, what's the word? Practicing recall, there we go. Um, if you don't know what recall is, it's exactly what it sounds like, the ability for your dog to hear their name and come to you. So how we're gonna be doing this is using a clicker and I have some high value treats, which are just cut up hot dogs. Um, sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background, uh, but I will be practicing the name game with them. You want to treat your dogs when they look at you, um, when they come to you, so anytime you say their name and their attention goes to you, that is the perfect opportunity for you to treat them and let them know that, yes, good job. That's exactly what I wanted. So we are gonna play the name game today. My dogs have been stalking me ever since I got these hot dogs. So we are going to just wait a second and let them calm down. All right, see you in a little bit. Also, I forgot to mention, if you don't have one of these handy dandy bad boys at home, which is a clicker, um, you can also use a high pitched noise. You can make a noise with your mouth. You can click like that, um, whistle. There's a lot of things you can do, but basically the purpose of the clicker is to give your dog that um, cue that what they did is what you want them to do. You can snap your finger and treat them. Um, so you don't have to have a clicker at home. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's been a minute. Um, my dogs are pretty calm. Ruka, my, my girl dog, she is still stalking me. But the two boys are in the office with dad, who is also working from home right now. Uh, and we are gonna see if we can get one of them to come to us. Jackson. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. All right, let's try my little girl. Ruka. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a little slow. You guys wanna try to click as fast as possible, <laughs> but it's kinda hard when you only have one hand and you're trying to click and get treats. And film. Let's see. They're like, Mom, can I have those treats? This is what I mean by the stocking. So she's not paying attention to me, which is the perfect time to say her name. Ruka, come here. Good job. So for those of you with dogs at home, like little puppies, you don't have to necessarily have them go very far. As you can see, my girl dog is just sitting here. I'm calling her girl dog because if I say her name, she will look. Um, but this is how you would want to treat. Uh, I'm going to use this as an example. Ruka. Good girl. Good girl. There. There you go. So like I said, um, sorry, it's a little crooked. My dogs have pretty good recall. They all know their names pretty well. But um, if you have your dog at home, they don't know their name, this is really easy. You don't have to do it the way I did. I waited for them to go into other rooms in the house and then I called for them. Um, but even if they're just sitting next to you and you feel that they don't know their name very well, you can call their name every time they look at you and acknowledge that 
yeah, that's my name. Um, you can click and treat them. But that's pretty much the name game. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed my dogs. And thanks for watching.